Welcome back, Video Creeps. The new trailer for The Craft Legacy just dropped only a few days after we found out that we were even getting this movie. Dropping October 28th, very fucking soon, we got the trailer. So let's take a little bit of time to go over this thing and talk about it. Now, first thing that I noticed about this thing is I had no idea that it would be so crisp, which I guess makes me kind of dumb. It is a movie coming out in 2020, but I think that has more to do with the fact that when I think about the craft, I think about that old school aesthetic. For some reason, until I saw this thing, I didn't even think about how new a new craft would look. And honestly, it just makes me appreciate the look of the first film all the more. That said, from a glance, I'm definitely into the way that this thing looks. Now, it looks like we're gonna be following this girl as our central character. And surrounding her seems to be big changes. We see her mom is moving in with Spooky Mulder from X-Files. So we know for a fact that at some point, aliens are gonna show up and they're gonna abduct his sister. Can you imagine? This is just a fucking X-Files craft crossover. Now, he mentions that he has three sons, and coming into a new family as the only girl to essentially a fucking Brady Bunch, yeah, that shit's gonna be hard. And I gotta wonder, are these boys gonna be friends or foes? This is a craft movie, so I can't help but think that they're not gonna be great. And I think they're gonna play into this built-up aggression that our main character is gonna start to develop. Now, is it gonna take shape and be aimed at them? Who knows? What we do know is that it certainly will be aimed at at least one of the classmates, as we see our main character sitting down in the middle of class when all of a sudden she gets her period. Then Jackass of the fucking century decides to show a little bit of tenderness by pointing it out and laughing at her. But what's most intriguing about that scene is the fact that we pan over to who our craft is gonna be. We see them sitting together, looking over at the situation with disapproval on their face. And like early birds to the worm, they find her crying in the bathroom after the events of the period situation, and they just sink their talons into her, just whispering in her ear, yeah, let's kick it. Now this film was written and directed by Zoe Lister-Jones who by and large is kind of a comedic writer. She worked on shows like The New Girl and Whitney, but don't let that discourage you. We've seen time and time again that comedic writers can be capable of writing really dark and heavy stuff. So I'm actually excited to see where she's gonna take this script. Unfortunately, I'm not a big fan of shows like The New Girl or Whitney, so that humor is gonna vary. But I'm really hoping that it comes packing a punch as far as the horror goes. Now we see that the girls have drawn a bath for the new girl. And when she says, why is there a bunch of flowers and petals inside of this bathtub? They tell her, oh, it's because we need to celebrate you. And when she goes, why? We hear a familiar thing from part one. They tell her, it's because you're our fourth. Then we get a quick shot of Jackass from earlier putting his hands on her shoulders. And with her inner witch awoken, she sends this prick flying into lockers like the lightweight bitch that he is. And then here's where the trailer kind of starts to lose me. Because this is where we just get hit with a bunch of very familiar themes from the first movie. Light as a feather makes an appearance. We see the girls talking about putting a spell on one of the boys in class. We get a quick shot of our main girl looking flirty with the guy. Very familiar themes from the first movie, which starts to anger me the more I watch this trailer because Blumhouse flat out said that this isn't a remake. This is a sequel to the original craft. So what's the deal with this trailer? Why aren't we exploring new territory? Is the trailer literally just showing us the themes that we would recognize from the craft one? So it just compiled it all together and the movie will be something else? I fucking really hope so. We get a look at the magic, which I'm not even gonna get into at this moment, but we will circle back to that. And we start to hear about the consequences of power and being a witch. Then by far the most exciting thing that happened where we see the main character holding a picture of Nancy. And man, that little scene right there gave me a fucking jolt 
the jolt I was waiting for in watching a Craft 2 trailer. I start getting filled with thoughts, oh my god, is Nancy gonna come back? Oh my god, is the whole craft gonna come back? Is that what we're not seeing in this trailer? Could this movie be awesome? But before I get too high, the movie knocks me right back down again with more familiar themes from the first movie. Again, this is not a remake. Yet, here I am, getting all these key components from the first film. Snakes, shots of boots levitating off the ground and floating around, like Nancy in the first film. But for me, the most disgusting, even bordering on cringe element of this trailer is at the end, where we get the weirdo line just kind of shoehorned in there. It didn't feel as good as it should, especially for a line that's so iconic to the first movie. I should have been jumping out of my seat when I heard that line, and instead I kind of did a face. The entire trailer long, there's this weird ambient horror remix of Girls Just Wanna Have Fun. We've seen this a lot in recent trailer history, and I gotta be honest, I think the effect of that has run its course. Ultimately, my thoughts on the craft legacy unfortunately fall more negative than they do positive. And it's not because the film doesn't look cool. And it's not because I'm not craft curious for more films. Believe me, I would love to see more about this world. I would love for them to build more on it. It's ultimately because this trailer didn't give me anything original. I've seen this movie. And again, it would be one thing if you were telling me that this is a remake. You're setting up a new world based on one that's already established. I get that. But yo, the craft has a strong following with incredibly large shoes to fill. Everything from the movie's soundtrack to the attitude of the actual film itself. Don't even attempt to recreate that. The first craft is a damn near perfect film. What I don't see in this trailer is improvements or expansion on the world, which if you're a sequel, that's your motherfucking job, son. And I said that I would bring up the magic later on in this thing, but I don't think people are gonna dig the Disney touch aesthetic of magic. I think it looks really fucking dumb. Part of the believability in the Craft 1 was the fact that the magic was very subtle. These were teenage girls dealing with powers that were bigger than themselves. However, it wasn't hokey and fucking stupid looking. I think the magic looks stupid in this thing. Now, I don't want to feel like I'm shitting all over this film before it actually comes out. We have to keep in mind that when we see things like this, it's two or three minutes of usually an hour and a half long film. So it is possible that they went for a very specific thing and they will shock us when the actual movie comes out. I am hoping for that. And October 28th, when this movie does drop, I am going to watch it. And I do hope that I'm pleasantly surprised by what it gives me. Until then, did you watch the trailer? Tell me what you think about it in the comments below. As always, if you're not already, please make sure that you subscribe, hit the notification bell so that way you know when my next video is up. Oh wait, actually, I got this in the mail. I gotta fucking, I gotta open this thing and see what the fuck this is. Ugh, a poster. Oh, it's like a map poster thing. Oh shit. Oh my God, look at that. Who sent me this? This is fucking rad. Thank you so much. Oh man, that is fucking awesome. Whoever sent this, please let me know in the comments below. I will see you guys on the next video. Peace. Let me tell you about my Patreons and ons and ons and ons. How they go. Go beyond and on and on and on. Rebecca reviews Desmond flicks and Butcher's Grindhouse. It's just fine how Splatter Vision, Larry Sherman, Kyoko. Corey Stewart Michael Andrews Car Woman Chris or not Ready or not cause this is my My Patreon song for you This 
This is my Patreon song for you!